Today, Brand is tying up a simple and effective leech pattern for us. This is a great color combination that you may want to try on your waters. The small size makes this a great early season choice fish behind an intermediate line. Let's get the materials ready for the fly. Brent is using a 3x long nymph hook in size 12 and 6 aught black tying thread. There is a small black cone head and 10 turns of 0 0.010 lead wire. The tail and body are created with a wire brush of Arizona semi seal in the deep leech color. The collar is peacock black ice dub. Let's go to the bench with Brent. Hi, folks. Here today we've got a nice little leech pattern here. This is just an off colored little rascal I wanted to show you. Uh, the color is. Quite important. A lot of times when we're fishing leeches, we just we always think maybe you know burgundies and browns and tans, maybe so forth. But here's a really nice color I want to sh share with you just to try uh, the deep leech here in the Arizona semi seal. It's a nice blend. It's quite dull color uh, in the bag. Something sometimes a lot of us we go to the fly shops, we kind of grab what kind of catches our eye, and we'll miss some of these good colors. And here's one I want to show you. This one I'm going to tie small. It's on a size 12, uh, 3x long nymph hook here. We got a little uh, cone head on the front there and then some lead on there so I get some nice undulation in the water. This would be a fly that I would use early season, probably more so than any time. Just the size and the color. I'll just take a little pinch of this uh, for the tail. Using some eight aught all thread here. You can use six if you want. Just put a little tail on that. Then we'll bring in some of this light wire here, this extra fine one millimeter, this super fly wire, whatever you like. Some nice soft wire that you can make your dubbing brushes out of. If not, you can use a dubbing loop. I like to use a wire. Uh, on my loops and dubbing brushes so I can get the material sticking out a little more. So I'm just going to get this very sparse just in between my fingers here and then I'll lay that in between. We'll get a spin that up with our brush and start feeling the wire moving here by the time you quit. Or it'll just snap on you. But nice, nice soft tying wire. I'll pull these fibers off the side a little bit. Come into the rear. So we start seeing some color hitting the shank fly. Come in, we'll just kind of preen it back as we go forward. And I'll tie that wire and the thread off in behind the bead. Leeches are easy to tie, but it's just a good way of tying it. You keep them nice and sparse, and uh, I'll comb it out. And it, once it gets wet, too, it gets even a little thinner. You can dip it in some hot water if you want to to thin that out some more. Then I'll use some ice tub uh, peacock black, really nice. Here I'll put a little collar of that on. I've dubbed that in kind of loose because I'm going to have a little bit of that kind of Sticking out the back here just to make it a little more interesting. Two tone effect is good. So there we go. It's just a real nice, simple little bug. Uh, size 12 leech. You could strip this nice and slow. Early season be probably my choice on an intermediate line and uh, put you in a lot of fish. But Go into some of these other colors. Make sure you bring some other colors with you. Uh, sometimes it makes all the difference in the world. It could be the color. Try to see the uh, lake bottom, your your lakes that you're frequenting, and uh, try to try to copy the color of the vegetation. Is a lot of really good choice too. So there you go. Just nice little olive mini leech. So catch up to you real quick. I'm going to be tying another real nice. Uh, a bright uh, leech here as well for more of an attractor. I'll have that up in my next video. Thanks for watching. We thank Brent for bringing us this simple and effective fly for all you lake anglers. Thanks for visiting us today, and we look forward to having you check out all our pro team flies on our YouTube channel or on our website.